asked to simplify this particular example is obeying the second law of sword here we have the square root of 75 over 3 and here we have the square root of 45 over 3 for the first one we have square root of 75 over 3 that will give us here we have 75 the square root of 75 over 3 will give us the square root of 75 all over the square root of 3. Again, if you look at the square root of 75, root of 75 you see that we can simplify that further, which will now give us the square root of 25 times 3 over the square root of 3. Then when you look at that numerator, it also obeys the first law of sword, which is the multiplication law of sword. So we now have of sword. So we now have the square root of 25 times the square root of 3 all over the square root of 3. If you look at this question, you find out that the square root of 25 will give us 5. Now we have square root of 3 all over so this multiplication. We can cancel out this square root of 3 and this square root of 3. So that will now leave us with our answer as 5 because the square root of 25 is 5. Now let us look at the second example which says the square root of 45 divided by 3. Now again following the second the second law of sword, we have the square root of 45 over the square root of 3. Here again, we simplify the square root of 45. The square root of 45 will give us the square root of 3. And that will give us the square root of x by the square root of 3. Follow where we have the square root of x, x times the square root of y. So we have the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. So we take the square root of 9, that will give us 3 root 5 all over square root of 3. Now, I will leave this answer here because there is a particular topic we need to teach for you to be able to understand what we need to do further. So in our next topic, we will see how we are going to rationalize this answer without leaving it the same way. So that will lead us, let us look at addition and subtraction of sword. Now, addition and subtraction of sword follow the same principle of basic operation and the basic operation simply means your addition your plus your minus multiplication and subtraction but here we are going to be looking at what it means the same rule of if you have the meaning of Bodman simply is just an acronym for B death stand for bracket O for of D for division M for multiplication A for addition and S for subtraction so let us look at the example that is given. The first example says evaluate the following. 3 square root of 2 plus square root of 75. Then let us take the first example. We have the square root of 3 square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 2. Now what you, you will notice that the sub value there which is the square root of 2, they are similar. We have 3 square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 2. Just in simple algebra. For instance, we are having, you take this square root of 2 to be, to, be, to be replaced with A. You just say 3A plus 4A. That means if you have 3A plus 4A, you just add the coefficient. This 3 to this square root is called coefficient. So if you add the coefficient 3 plus 4, that will give us 7. While your square root of 2 remains. So this 3 square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 2 equals 7 square root of 2. Then we take the second example. B. 8 square root of 27 minus the square root of 75. Here we we'll find out that 27 and 75 can be simplified further. Here we have 27 can be simplified into 7, into 9 times 3, while 75 can be simplified into 25 times 3. Here we have the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. In bracket, then we have 8 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. Minus square root of 25 times square root of 3. Now if you take the square root of 9, that will give us 3. That 3 multiplying the square root of 3 will give us 3 square root of 3. Remember we have a question of 8 here which we are using to multiply. So we have 8 times 3 square root of 3 minus 5 square root of 3 because the square root of 25 equals 5. Now, if you notice again, we have 8 times 3, so you have to follow the, the rule of board mass. So we have to multiply 8 and 3. 
So if you do that, we have 8 times 3 will give us 24. Because this 3 is having a root sign, so it remains 24 root 3. Now if you notice again, we find out that this is root 3 and this is also root 3. So they are seen as like 10. So what do you do? You subtract the coefficient. Now if you take away 5 from 24, we will be left with 19. So our answer becomes 19 root 3. This is just a typical example of addition and subtraction of sod. Now let us go to the other aspect of sod which I was telling you in the part rationalization of sod. Let me take it again. Rationalization of sod. Now what happened during rationalization of sod? So the rationalization of sod simply means multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the sodic value or at the denominator. The sodic value that means that value has a square root sign. So let us see the example that is given. We are asked to simplify the following by rationalizing the denominators. And the first question says 10 over square root of 2. B, 2 square root of 3 over square root of 6. C, 5 over square root of 25. Now if we take the first one, if we take the first one, we have 10 over square root of 2. Now by rationalizing, we have that this 10 over square root of 2, the 10 at the numerator we multiply square root of 2, while the square root of 2 at the denominator we multiply square root of 2. Now if you notice square root of 2 times square root of 2 following the fifth law of sod will give us 2. Which means what you are just trying, what you are just doing is to say 2 times 2 which will give us 4. So if you take the square root of 4 that will give us 2. So it is following that particular rule which is the fifth rule of sod. So if you notice it now do your becomes 10 square root of 2 all over 2. And if you find out that you now see that your 2 below now in, at the denominator can divide into 10 at the numerator. So if 2 goes into 2, it will give us 1. When 2 goes into 10, it will give us 5. So our answer becomes 5 square root of 2. Now we'll take the second example. The second example says 2 square root of 3 all over square root of 6. Again, by rationalizing the denominator, we have 2 square root of 3 over square root of 6 times square root of 6 over square root of 6. Now, at the, at the numerator, we find out that the sort value will multiply the sort value. It will now, you see, because it is, it is multiplication, it will also follow the first law of sort, which is multiplication of sort. Here we are going to have the values inside the square root, we multiply the value inside the other square root. So we have 2 times 6, the 2 square root of 3 times 6, all over. You see this other one too, square root of 6 times square root of 6, is also following the fifth law of sort, where we have square root of A times square root of A, we give us A. So it means that the denominator, which is square root of 6 times square root of 6, we give us 6. So the numerator where we have 3 times 6, that will give us 18. Now you see that your square root of 18 cannot be left like that. What do you do? You see, you see in sort, you keep on repeating one particular form or the other. So you go through all the processes to solve a particular question. Here again, what are we going to do? We we'll go back again to simplification of sort. Now when you simplify 9, 18, square root of 18, it will give us times 2 all over 6. So here, you see that 2 can go into 6 to give us what? 3. So you have square root of 9 times 2 all over 3. And this will give us square root of 9 times square root of 2 all over 3. Now if you take the square root of 9, it will give us 3. So we now have 3 square root of 2 all over 3. Here again, we find out that 3 can cancel 3 and we are now left with our final answer which is square root of 2. So you can see the interesting part there is that we are going through the different processes of solving sort. Let us look at the last question which says 5 over square root of 1, 2, 5. Again, by rationalizing, we have 
5 over square root of 1 to 5 times square root of 1 to 5 over square root of 1 to 5. Here, we are going to have that your square root of 1 to 5 can be simplified to square root of 25 times 5 by simplification of sod. And here we have square root of 1 to 5 times square root of 1 to 5 will give us 125 following the fifth root of sod. Again, your square root of 25 simplified for that will give us 5. And you have your square root of 5. So when you have 5 times 5, that will give us 25. Now, we now have 25 times square root of 5 all over 125. But you can see that 25 can also divide into 125. So what do we do? We now say 25 into 25 will give us 1. 25 into 125 will give us 5. So our final answer becomes square root of 5 all over 5. Then we take the next topic, which is multiplication of sort involving brackets. In this particular method, say this method of solving sort involving brackets follows the same pattern in solving simple algebraic expansion. Now, here, what actually happens is the same way you do your expansion in simple algebra. Here we have simplified the following. The square root of 2 root 5 plus 3, all in brackets. You open another, another bracket, square root of 5 plus 2. Then we have the second question. We say the square root of 3 plus 2, all in brackets.